the Vegas Golden Knights at the top. 58 points in 44 games. They sit atop the Pacific Division. Case, let's get your grade for the G-Knights. Yeah, so what I've been doing to kind of prepare for this one is listing a, a bit of positives and some negatives for each team and then giving them a grade. Well, I didn't list any negatives for the Vegas Golden Knights so far this year. <laughs> it's all positives for them. They're better than I thought they'd be this year, and I guess I'm an idiot for thinking that because why wouldn't this team be good? Um, you know, I started saying maybe it was because of goaltending in our preseason uh, preview, but when you play such good defense, um, it doesn't really matter. It, it, that's what we came to find. You just kind of need league average, and Thompson's playing above league av average for them. So that combination is winning for them. And it's not just the defense that this team has. It's the forwards. They all kind of – they remind me of the Boston Bruins where they're all kind of responsible in their own end, like especially Stone and Stevenson and Carrier. Like all these guys are very good two-way forwards. So they play great defense. They're scoring a lot of goals. And they're getting good goaltending on top of it. First in the league, I gave them an A. I didn't give them an A plus because this is kind of what we expect from them. Yeah, for sure. I mean, okay, so Case, I like what you did there. You list some positives and tried to find some negatives, but with Vegas, you know, that's kind of tough. Being there are none right yeah, now. Yeah, one one of the better teams in the league. But uh, what I did and kind of how I approached this episode is I looked at our original rankings. And then I kind of compared and contrast them with the actual standings currently about the midway point of the season right now. And I gave grades based on uh, how the teams are performing based on our, our own expectations. So I'm with you with this one. I gave Vegas an A as well. And for me, the reasoning was uh, just the fact that they've had so many injuries to key players this year. Um, you know, and that was kind of the story last year and maybe why they underperformed so many injuries and they just weren't able to get over the hump. But this year, they are missing some key pieces, most notably Mark Stone and Shea Theodore at the top of the list. Um, and they've been able to just battle through it, weather the storm and prove to the league that, um, you know, even when they're not completely healthy, they can still hang. So relative to our expectations with uh, when we picked them to finish third in the division, First place ain't bad, and I think it deserves an A. Yeah, A's all across the board. I'm uh, I'm picking that as my grade as well for the Vegas Golden Knights. When healthy, they look like a Stanley Cup contender. Uh, you guys, I know, had your doubts about Logan Thompson. I'll, I'll say it again. I was pretty high on this guy coming into the season, and uh, and that has proved to be true. Um, I, I think the, the backup position in, in the net is a bit of a question mark. They're going to have to decide uh, between Aiden Hill or do they give Brossois another chance or do they go out and get somebody um so that that is certainly a question mark but really not a big deal they just have to be you know average or a little bit uh above average uh because of how well logan thompson has been playing and um this this team is well coached obviously with bruce cassidy taking over in, in his first year with them and they've really proved to have some depth for a team that's that's given up a lot these last couple of years as far as assets, they don't have a lot of prospects coming, <laughs> but they've done a really good job with pro scouting and have been able to add some good depth. Guys like Nick Waugh, Keegan Colasar, Paul Cotter looks like a good player in their bottom six as well. So um, they're a very deep team. Uh, case I like the Boston comparison like everybody has their role their responsibility this team is is deep top to bottom when they're healthy so yeah an A for uh, for the Golden Knights first place in this division so it's something I noticed when I was kind of looking into their defense I was on money puck of course and to kind of deflate your Logan Thompson tires there harp they've allowed the fourth least amount of high danger opportunities against and I think they uh, are eighth in medium danger shots against so this guy's had to face a lot of shots outside of the home plate and it's kind of the result he's getting he is playing good i'm not gonna i'm not gonna dummy him down that much but like the vesna caliber type season when you look at his traditional numbers um there's an argument against that and I'll say too, guys, while we're talking about goaltending for Vegas, like we haven't even mentioned the fact that they're missing 
their starter, really. The, you know, they're missing Robin Lehner, who was supposed to be the starting goalie once they got rid of Marc Andre Fleury. And now, you know, first of all, we don't know when he's going to come back, if ever. Like, we know there's a lot of difficulties there, uh, injury wise. Wow. He might and need to come off. back because he's bankrupt now. <laughs> I was gonna say, and off. Not the that ice. I want to laugh at that, but like, yeah, I mean, exotic snake farm. exotic snake farms will do that to you. But the point is, Jesus. not having their starting goaltender, like, go to any team around the league, and I know goalies are kind of voodoo and they're hard to predict, anyways. But you know, take Vasilevsky off of Tampa Bay. Take, um, I don't know, like even one of the two goalies in Toronto off of Toronto. Like, they're different teams without your starting goaltender. And to not have Lane Winnipeg is getting bedard if you take away Hellebuck. That, that's a really <laughs> good one because he's been really good this year. UC Saros is another one who just absolutely carries Nashville. But, like, take a starting goalie away from any team and see what happens to that team. And Vegas that, looked at it. They were like, listen, we don't need – a starting goalie like Robin Lehner, we've got now four goalies who can play in the NHL on the payroll. So Yeah, that's kind of how I wrote the positive out is I, I wrote it in my short form, you know, what works in my brain as goalie is a number one. And uh, that's because they lost their number one and now they have, they found one. And then, and being able to do that, that's such a positive. And especially when you're in first place, it, it shows a, a lot about your team. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the Carolina Hurricanes, right? It seems like they just find guys to stop pucks, like, out of nowhere, and it works. 